Let's call it the fake ID. Ooh, fake ID. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so for subscribing if you are subscribed, and please go ahead and subscribe if you are not subscribed because I'm entertaining as fuck. I promise. I know I've been gone a really long time, but that's okay. Um, I'm back now. I feel better. Not much is different. Actually, nothing is different. I'm the exact same person that I was. I just feel better about myself. So I'm a brand new bitch. But anyway, since this is my first semester, not in school, I kind of want to do a back to school. I want a back to school series and I want to reflect on being in school. One of my favorite stories from being an RA um, is actually a horror story because that shit was crazy. I present the story of fake ID. The fake ID. Let's call it the fake ID. This comes the last year that I was in the freshman dorm. Um, Cause I, I was an RA in two dorms. I was an RA in a freshman dorm for three years. And then I was an RA sophomore upper classman dorm for my last year. I had this girl. I didn't really know who she was because I had got there my semester after Disney. So I was only there like the half a semester, but I tried my hardest to be cool with the girls and get to know them. Cause I was just like, you're not gonna take me serious right now. So just get to know me and we'll have good times, right? So one day text me well group chat me because we had group me she grouped me and she was like myra are you in your room and i was like girl are you my resident yeah i'm in my room um, so she gets to my room she knocks on the door she gets in my room and i'm like hey i just got out the shower i really thought it was a roommate issue because i had just like said like are there any roommate issues anyway she comes and she sits down with her friend her friend's there for moral support i guess and she's just like so there's this boy I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I thought he was gonna tell me just like that, but of course not. My life's not that easy. So she was like, there's this boy and he's outside and he just keeps yelling and he want me to come out there, his baby mama out there and she wanna fight me. Disclaimer, this happened, I kid you the fuck not. This happened the last three weeks of school. The last three weeks of school, count them. One, two, three. All this girl had left was finals. Whew, okay. She's telling me the story, she's like, I've been dating him since December and he had a baby mama and he lives with his baby mama and I didn't think they was together, but they're together. And now she outside, they outside, they want to fight me. They want me to come outside. I was like, well, how'd you meet him? She's like, well, he was just hanging out on campus. I was like, like, that's your first mistake. Why are you talking to a random that don't even go to school? He just hanging out on campus to pray on little girls. This nigga still outside while we talking, right? Mind you, he's still outside. He calls it as much beef as possible. Trying to get this girl outside, trying to get her wild up to come to come fight the baby mama. Like, this is just too much. Like, why this happened? this is me like <laughs> she's telling me the story and, and she's just telling you about him she came to me that day because he was literally threatening her in the text message he was like you dumb b and the girlfriend wasn't making it no worse because the girlfriend got her number and the girlfriend him and the girlfriend like every time you know when you block somebody like if you call them enough times it'll unblock that number so like they just kept doing that and they were sending her all these things you nasty b you anything like anything they could to get her upset and she was upset and they were like you're hiding in that building and you won't come out and it was crazy because all of a sudden the story shifts and she's like also i work in the eagle card office and i made him an eagle card and i think he can get in the building <laughs> well okay so let's wheel it back she works in the eagle card office which is our student id office on campus she worked there for work study and she said that he manipulatively which i can see because he was he was mm, and she naively mm, came in there and he just pressured her to make one and so he did she did and it was in is technically was not supposed to work it was inactive but another ra the head ra she was like you know what i know who he is i've seen him come in the building like he came in without help like his ego card work my mom is just reeling i'm like are you serious are you serious you are lying to me. <laughs> you really like put everybody in this building in danger. <laughs> and like, you're okay with it. So she's telling me this. She's like, I'm scared to go to the cab. He likes to hang out by the ATM. And I just don't know what he gonna do. I'm like, do you want to call the police? And, oh, that was a thing. Like she didn't, she told me this, not realizing that I was a mandate reporter, re mandated reporter, like, so I have to tell. And I'm just like, so you know I have to tell, right? And she's like, well, but, well, please don't. And I'm like, 
but she but you know i have to tell tell right like you you told me this to keep you safe but like i gotta keep the whole building safe and there's this crazy man outside trying to fight you and you don't want to tell nobody because you don't want to get in trouble we're way past you getting in trouble at this point like you you really made a fake eagle card for a boy oh yeah so that day she later went to the calf she was like okay i'm gonna go to the calf because i was like you can't I told her you can't live in fear and not want to tell nobody because <laughs> like you don't want to get in trouble like and he was holding it over her head too he was like you may be an equal or, like you gonna get in trouble so you're not gonna like you won't tell anybody later that day she left and went to the cab it was maybe like four hours later she left and went to the cab and she was like he found me at the cab he pulled up while i was pulling out like he knew i was at the cab and he confronted me i didn't fight her but like they were there and they tried to fight me like at the cab me and my friends and i was like yeah he he's crazy as fuck shit was crazy it was like she was in a a sticky ass situation and i see why she came to me because there was nobody else for her to come to but i don't feel like i in any way was able to make the situation better yeah so i had to talk to my boss and my boss went and tried to look up and actually seen that, yeah, she did make the eagle card. And yeah, she got in trouble. She ended up getting expelled. They didn't let her take her, they they didn't let her take her final. I know her mom was pissed off. She told me that she was like, they're, they're mad as fuck at me. It was, it was so, it was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for loving my video. If you liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Hit, wait. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. I don't know. Let's just say. Thank you for loving me. Until next time. Okay, bye.